Hello and welcome everyone to my class. This is Neil from 3D Tutor. This course is a complete guide for beginners to intermediate users on how to create a low poly 3D model for games from scratch. In this course you will learn the key skills needed to achieve this goal and you will learn a basic pipeline for asset creation. The main features will include basic modeling, texturing, simple animation and finally rendering. The only pieces of software we'll be using in this class are Blender and Substance Painter and the class is aimed at beginner's guide to both. All supporting files will be supplied to help you on your journey to create a low polygon sign. This class will give you the key skills to creating game ready models. My name is Neil and I am a freelance artist and online tutor. I have six years of modeling experience. I mainly focus on AAA game assets, but I also create characters and environments. Part of my freelance work involves animation within Blender, and I've spent four years animating everything from simple wheels to multiple character rigs. I specialize in Blender, ZBrush, Topogon, Substance Painter, and Unreal Engine 4. I will be producing more lessons in the future to help people go from beginners to creating AAA assets which are hard to tell apart from real life. By the end of this course you'll have the skills and knowledge to create a shop sign but more than that the skills you learn here will be invaluable for you for projects which you create in the future. You will also come away with a basic overview of Blender and Substance Painter. The class runs for a total time of 8-7 minutes and is designed with beginners in mind to both Blender and Substance Painter. The class is made up of 10 modules which are easy to follow and laid out at a steady pace. You will learn the basics of modeling, UV unwrapping, baking maps, texturing, animation and finally rendering out a film. So now let's look at the individual lessons. Lesson 1 focuses on basic modeling and in this lesson we create the frame for the sign. The lesson is set out at a beginner level pace with everything explained, you will learn how to scale assets to a real world size and how to create a frame and all the techniques it requires. This lesson gives you key skills in how to quickly and easily start creating geometry. Lesson 2 will focus on creating the Elmug logo. I will show you how to import and use background images in a simple and easy understandable way. From this lesson you will learn how to create any logo of your choosing in the future with ease. These skills can also be used to quickly create meshes from many different types of images, sourced anywhere from your phone to the internet. Lesson 3 will be creating the chain links using built-in Blender add-ons. I'll show you how to create the chain links and save out presets for future projects. We will also be taking a look at modifiers within Blender to speed up workflow. Again, everything in this lesson will be focusing on the basics so you'll finish it with a better understanding of how Game Asset Pipeline works. Lesson 4 will be taking a look at basic UV unwrapping the easy way. I will show you where and how to mark seams and how to easily lay out UVs for easy baking. This lesson will make applying textures a breeze in the future. I will also show you how to scale UVs to make sure they are all at the same resolution and how to correctly unwrap them. This is quite an extensive lesson Pack full with useful information. Lesson 5 is all about how to put PBR textures onto our mesh using Substance Painter. In Lesson 6 I do cover how to bring in materials to Blender, so if you wish to create your materials elsewhere then you'll be able to skip this lesson. For those that want to learn Substance Painter, I have supplied all the materials we will need for the lesson and all our high quality seamless PBR textures and accompanying maps such as colour, height, roughness, metallic and normal. I will show you how to import new materials into Substance Painter and also a quick and easy way to quickly create a sign with a variety of materials applied. I will show you the tips and tricks used for absolute beginners to start to use Substance Painter. This lesson is just an overview but is a great introduction to texturing your 3D models. Lesson 6 is a short lesson focused on creating applying materials within Blender. I will be showing you how to use the Node Wrangler which is a Blender add-on to quickly and easily set up a material with the push of a few buttons. We will also look at how we can take materials from Substance Painter and have them look exactly the same within the Blender Cycles render engine. Lesson 7 is about creating a very simple single bone rig 
to animate our sign. It's designed to be a basic introduction to animation for beginners and giving you the basics without going into too much depth. It's a short but very focused lesson giving you a number of key skills. In later classes we will grow our skills in animation but for now this is a good introduction. Lesson 8 we are taking a look at animating our sign using the rig we have created. Here we will focus on a simple animation aimed at complete beginners. We will input some simple keyframes to make our sign swing as though in a wind. You will find this lesson easy to pick up and a good introduction to adding keyframes with it being kept as simple and concise as possible. Lesson 9 we are going to be rendering out our animation and I talk you through with step by step instructions how to achieve this. We only cover the basics here and this lesson was created to be fast and effective way to quickly take your animation and create images which we can then save out ready to create our short film. You will learn how to take any animation you create and quickly turn it into rendered images. Lesson 10 we will be concluding the course and creating our short film animation from the images we rendered out. Here you will learn how to put a group of images together into a film and how to render out in a quick and efficient way. I also explain how you can render out at higher quality renders. I have designed this course keeping beginners and intermediate level modelers in mind. Despite that this course can be very used for advanced 3D modeling artists and students if they want to create game ready shop signs from start to finish but struggle with it because they lack step by step guidance. Feel free to check out the course description and outline. So go ahead and click on the enroll button. I can't wait to see you making shop signs for games. Once again this is Neil from 3D Tudor and I thank you all for enrolling to the course and I hope to see you there.